Hey guys, this is me, Harley Fett on Nostalgitronic Shoe Care, and today I will be reviewing Wiggling Willy the Singing Fish. This is not made by Jemmy Industries, this is an off brand. I don't know who makes Wiggling Willy, but it does seem to be um, fairly common, but it can be quite pricey on eBay. Um, this one I've had, I think, since. It's either 2013 or 2014. I got it for Christmas one year with uh, Billy Bones. And it is a really cool singing fish. It is uh, also, uh, again, I, I'd say it's quite unique because it's got a unique plaque, unique colouring. But if you notice that the mould of the actual fish uh, is actually just a Billy Bass, but the fins have been changed and it's obviously been repainted but it is still like the same structure so of course when I got this guy back in 2013-14 I'll just say Christmas that's easier uh he did not fully work or she I, I, I think it's a she uh she did not fully work um it had a, a split gear in the head obviously, and that would lead to it making a really loud buzzing noise, and this fish is pretty loud, but the motor was like, and it, it got on my nerves, so I was so happy when I finally learned how to fix these things, because it just, that, that was something that always bothered me. As you can look on the top, it does look a bit, like, smudged up. Um, because my dad had me put these in toy boxes and stuff, so they were all on top of each other. So, it has had marks. This one, I think, has been damaged the worst. Um, and there was, like, it was all chipped. So it was all chipped off the, uh, sides where the black is, the black edging. So what I did for a little quick repair tip here is I took a black marker and coloured it all in. And uh, I would say it looks worse on camera, actually, but in person, you can't really notice it. Um, so, yeah, uh, Wiggling Willy uh, plays two songs, uh, I Don't Know Why, and... Oh, God, I forgot the name of the second song. But, yeah... Also, the cloth on Wiggly and Willy, like, behind it, is, like, a Christmas cloth. Uh, they did actually make a Christmas version of Wiggly and Willy, what sings Jingle Bell Rock. And there is a, um, the most common one is, uh, Generation 2, what this is. There is a Generation 1 where it, the songs are a completely different recording. Because Wiggly and Willy has a very high-pitched voice. Uh, but the first version, I, I don't know if they, if it played the actual songs or not, but for some reason they changed it, probably to avoid copyright, and it did sing them quite fast. Also, what I liked it about this one as a kid is, unlike Billy Bass, where it will, will be, there'll be lyrics playing in the song, but the mouth won't move. This one's mouth moves to every uh, word in the song. So I like that. But there is some sort of like programming error where the when the mouth moves, the uh, tail moves the same way. It gets out of the pattern of just flapping. Um, also, I think my brother said that, I, I can't remember if it was his dad or his granddad actually had Wiggling Willy. But uh yeah, um, it also has an orange button, well, I can't think of any other singing fish that has an orange button, or is a female, I believe Wiggly Willy is a female, the only other female singing fish that I can recall are Tommy Trout, well, I class that one as a female, and, uh, Big Mouth Rainbow Trout, what is actually a bass, uh, and it looks nothing like a rainbow trout. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to say. 
about it, so we shall demonstrate it for you. Actually, a little quick note I want to put in is um, I'm actually recording this on Valentine's Day, what I guess is uh, appropriate since uh, this does sing to uh, love songs or songs about love with the word love in. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.